I've seen people die with my own eyes. I've seen them. I've seen them coming in, looking around, and then leaving with sheets over their bodies. And that's some stuff you can't get out of your head. I went to the emergency room twice and they sent me away. It was hard for me to even, even take breaths. And so when I went back in there, I'm like, I need help, can you just help me? And they finally dug deep into what's going on with me and like, oh, we need to admit this guy. It was a horrible experience. And you're still telling me that this virus is not real enough to take precautions. I want to be a beacon of hope to young people who look like me, who don't see a bright future for themselves, but can see me and what I do as inspiration. I was just so scared of losing my life because of the stuff that's going on with me. My family was experiencing a lot of worry, um, a lot of uncertainty. Uh, my history with my family, hospitals are usually the last stop for people. What kept the family pushing forward while I was away? Uh, I think for the most part, it was seeing other people pushing for us, knowing that we could in that time be vulnerable. And also waiting to call you every day to hear from you how you're doing. Medical papers can say you're perfectly fine, but you can feel not fine. <laughs> right. No, I got so. you. It's the first time me hearing a lot of this, well, all of this stuff. So I thank you all for all that behind the scenes stuff you guys were doing. I think you can understand what, when I say it. It's like you guys didn't have me worried when I was in the hospital about you guys. I didn't really know what you guys were going through. I think if I did, I would have probably made myself sicker and that's what you were protecting. It's like my baby girl was, was protecting me and I didn't even know it. I, I love the fact that you pay attention to me because you know if I knew something was wrong with you, I would worry more. You know me so well that you knew exactly what to do to try to help me keep focus on what I need to keep focus on. And I, I appreciate that. Obviously you're my dad and mm -hmm. that's a fact, but also you, take the time to really be a father to people that some people that you don't even know you know how to talk to people you know how to have them see their potential in, the, in themselves you know how to make them confident you know how to push them in the right direction and you're just there for people and when this whole thing was happening it was really 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 obvious um the amount of people that you've had an impact on, the amount of people you've had a positive impact on, because people are sending so much stuff. I think so many people you don't even realize sometimes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you have like the entirety of Minnesota just like <laughs> fighting over you because <laughs> you're that special. This was a wedding dress from the 1800s also. I wanted her to pretend like she is sneaking in and trying on this dress, but there's still pain because she can't actually own it, but she wants to be in this dress because she was a part of this dress, having it put together and everything. With photography, I love it because I get to see the world through my lens and show you what that looks like to me. I feel it's powerful because I put my eye through a camera lens and I see things that some people didn't even think existed. So I get to show you what I see and sometimes that helps other people. It upsets me a little bit when I hear a lot of people saying that COVID, it doesn't exist. It doesn't touch black people. Uh, you're too young to have it. It's just for old people because the old people are dying. I was almost in that statistic of people dying. It hit me when I was working, it's like, man, I am super thankful to be here and thankful for everybody that's been helping me and my family out. There's so many people that's been supporting me. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your continued prayers. It keeps me thinking that 
I really need to be more purposeful in um, serving my purpose because there's a reason why I'm here. I want the future of my people to be bright, prosperous, and full of hope. I want dreams to be validated. I want our existence to be validated. And we can do that for ourselves. We can do that for our own people.